in West Bond. There was an amazing sight today at Navy Pier. Long, long lines amazing. of illegal immigrants waiting to make history. They began to line up early this morning all along the full length of the pier. You can see the hope on their faces. A long dream suddenly realized. It's all part of Dream Relief Day. CBS 2's Derek Blakely talked with many of them. An amazing sight indeed, Derek. It was amazing, Bill and Walter. If you ever needed a snapshot about the size and scope of the immigration problem, both in the nation and in Chicago, this was it. The crowd so large, thousands were turned away. And for one day, some said Navy Pier reminded them of another waterside immigration center, Ellis Island. The turnout was stunning. Lines of thousands snaking all the way from Navy Pier to Millennium Park. And inside, the halls packed with young dreamers. Are you surprised by the numbers that are here? I knew we would have a great turnout, but I am thoroughly surprised by the lines that we have here of people just dreaming to become part of the U.S. Young people like 18-year-old Lane Tech grad Daniela Rodriguez, whose mother brought her to Chicago from Mexico when she was five. I've been trying to get a job, but of course I can't. Um, I tried getting a license, but I can't. So I'm hoping this will really change and help me out. Under President Obama's Dream Relief Program, undocumented immigrants who arrived in the U.S. before age 16 and are younger than 31 can legally get a work permit, a driver's license, a social security card, a bank account, and more. Those things are important. The first and most important thing is to say, you won't be deported from the United States. At least not for two years. 23-year-old Edgar Lara, who arrived here from Mexico at age three, drives without a license to get to his shipping job. Deportation always on his mind. You're driving somewhere, you see a cop, you get scared, you're thinking about it. You're at work, you're scared, you're thinking about it. Still under dream relief, the benefits are temporary. Applicants not permanently legal. This is the beginning, it's not the end. Up to 1,500 applicants were processed today at Navy Pier, but thousands more were turned away. Elected officials and immigration groups are setting up other application workshops. One is set for Chicago's Benita Juarez High School next Tuesday night. Bill and Walter, as you know, many conservatives are strongly opposed to this program. They dismiss it as another amnesty scheme, and others, like Mitt Romney, are calling for a permanent immigration solution, not more patchwork. Hmm, so most of those in the line from Navy Pier to Millennium Park probably didn't get in. Most did not get in because they were simply overwhelmed. I mean, they did not expect really this kind of turnout. They expected a big turnout, but this was overwhelming. And they can't go back tomorrow. It's not going to be held tomorrow, right? They have to wait. No, the program is ongoing. There will be other workshops set up by other groups, and including uh, Congressman Gutierrez, and he urges people to call his office if they need direction or help in, in leading through the process.